Hello and welcome back to this tutorial series on using Edge Animate. So in the previous videos we just looked at the very basic tool sets of Adobe Edge Animate. So now let's uh, dive into our first project. Okay, so I have this uh, project here open in my uh, Chrome browser and I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit refresh right here. And there we go. Our moon animates, text drops down, birds fly. Okay. So let's talk about what you just saw here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, refresh again. So our moon is animated just like we animated shapes, same with this uh, text here. And then these birds are actually animated GIFs, okay? Let's see what else here. Ah, these are actually web links, okay? So as opposed to a static website, a uh, user can go here, get a little animation, and then the links drop down. And if I click on these links, these will actually take me to my websites. I'll click on both of them. So if you want to learn how to build a website, here you go, webdesignzoo.com. And then here is principles of interactive media. Okay, so I made this little web page, okay, and it's animated. And um, there wasn't a whole lot to it. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into Edge Animate right now and uh, see what this is all about. Okay, so here's the completed project, which, well, that doesn't do you a lot of good. So let's go ahead and create a new project. So new. Okay, here we go. And we're going to save this. And I'm going to actually just slap this on the desktop. I normally don't save everything on the desktop, and there's a ton of stuff here, but most of this I'm using for these tutorials. Um, so let's see here. You're going to want to really keep everything organized with Adobe Edge because when you save the project, it doesn't just save one project file. It saves half a dozen of them, okay? So um, let's go ahead and just call this Night Scene Demo. Why not? And um, that's the name of the folder. And then we'll just call this Night underscore uh, Scene and save that. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, size of this. And I'm going to go ahead and change the size of this right now to um, 1024 by 768. I do a lot of work in iBooks, actually. Um, at least I have been lately. And so this is actually, if you're going to export this as a widget for iBooks, this is the size. Okay, and it's kind of arbitrary for this demo, but that's what I'm making the size of my window. Let's go ahead and build our uh, very simple little project here. Um, now, in the previous videos, we made our own shapes. Okay, this time we're not going to do that. We are actually going to import in some assets. So let's let's look here. So if I come over here onto um, the desktop, I have this uh, Edge Assets folder with um, four different folders in here with projects. I actually have four different projects lined up that I'm going to run through with you guys over the next few videos. But let's look at the uh, night scene assets here. Got some grasses. I just used a uh, Photoshop brush and just uh, made these really quick. Um, and they're PNGs, not JPEGs, so that they have the transparency, right? Uh, I got a moon, uh, some mountains, just real quick, slap these out in uh, Illustrator, actually, I think is where, I, yeah, I made these. And then I got this animated GIF here, right, the seagull. And then I actually made it black, okay, and let's go ahead and open that again there. Yeah, you can see it uh, kind of cycling through, and um, all I did again is I just went to Heather's Animations, downloaded the seagull, brought it into Photoshop, made it black, so, you know, I don't know. It kind of resembles a crow or something. Nice and simple. And then I have this uh, Sky PNG. And I made this in Illustrator as well. Um, this is just, you know, a big gradient chunk right here with these stars, okay? And, of course, I could have just made the gradient background in Edge Animate, but I wanted to throw these stars in. And this is, well, this is what I did. Okay. So how do we get these into Adobe Edge? There's a whole bunch of different ways to get it into Adobe Edge. The easiest way to do it... Well, okay, one way to do it, we should say, is you go up here to File, Import, and just navigate to that um, folder. So Night Scene Assets, there we go. I'm going to select, actually I don't need the crows, so I'm going to select these ones right here, okay? Um, I just selected the top one and then held down Shift and uh, hit the bottom one. That way I can select all of these. And I'm going to just select import. Okay, now okay, now watch what happens when I click open here. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff happened, right? Okay. Um, first off, it automatically put everything on my stage. It set up all my layers here in my timeline. 
um, it added all of these elements up here. And again, these are all divs. And um, then it added all of these assets to my library, okay? Now, I can delete stuff from my elements. I can delete stuff from my uh, timeline here, all my layers, and everything will d disappear off here. It's all selected right now. I can just go ahead and uh, delete everything, and it's gone. Everything's gone here. Everything's gone here, but I still have all my assets right here in the images folder, okay? And you might notice that we have audio and video spots too. Pretty cool, right? So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and just undo that by hitting com uh, Command Z and bringing them back all back up. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to arrange all these assets to put together our composition, all right? So um, I know that I want this sky in the background, right? And let's see. The moon can actually be anywhere as long as it's above the sky. That's going to be just fine. Um, the next thing that I'm going to want is these mountains one and mountains two. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and well, actually, they seem like they're in a pretty good spot. We'll go ahead and just move the uh, bird all the way up here on the top, the seagull, flying seagull there. And I'm going to just select mountain two, and then I'm going to I'm actually just hitting shift in the arrow key. Okay, of course I can drag them. You know, I can grab them and drag them. I can move over here along the Y and move it. There's all kinds of stuff I can do here. But um, I'm just hitting right now shift arrow like so. Okay. And then I'm going to grab mountains uh, one. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm getting impatient here, so I'm just going to drag it down. I'm holding down shift as I drag so that it stays constrained along the Y axis. Okay. All right, and something just like that. So we got some kind of grassy hill in the front here, whoops. And then the darker hill in the back, just to fake a little depth here. Okay, now I've got these uh, grasses one and two, okay? And I'm just gonna, you know, move these down here so it looks like they're kind of sticking out. Like, oh, I don't know, right there so it kind of snaps in. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other grass here and we'll move that one over here somewhere and just kind of hold it down here so it snaps in. Okay, you can see as I move around, those pink uh, guidelines start to pop up, kind of magenta color or whatever, um, right about there. That's just showing me that I'm right on the edge. Okay, so there we go. So now I have those, and the moon right now is not animated, so whatever. I can just set it somewhere for now. And then my bird is also not animated, okay? And I think I'm going to go ahead and just move the bird Whoops. off the stage for now. Okay, we'll just put the bird over here, and the bird's going to be animated. So, let's see here now. Um, well, let's go ahead and animate the moon first, shall we? So, what I'm going to do is select the moon. Maybe we'll move the moon over here by the birds, okay? And if you remember from the last video, we're actually going to create a motion path. And we're going to you know, make sure that our keyframes are enabled. So, let's go ahead and select, well, motion path, obviously first. <laughs> motion path. And then we'll come down here and select the XY position, which will give us a location keyframe. Location, see that? All right. And we'll move over to, oh, I don't know. What do you guys think? How about four seconds in the timeline? I don't want anything to move that fast, okay? We'll have a nice, slow-moving moon. You know? um, down here, you see where this is like the little mountain and the big mountain? This is actually to zoom in and out of the timeline. So maybe we'll zoom the timeline in a little bit. Move this up to the five-second mark. Okay, we'll make a five-second animation. Easy enough. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and grab the moon. I'm, gonna, I'm over here at the x-axis, and we'll just move it like this so it shoots across the sky. Okay? And we'll let go. And that created our keyframe transition, just like that. Let's go ahead and press play. And our moon moves across. So it works. And let's preview this in a browser. There we go. It's working. <laughs> Although the moon's kind of low and it doesn't, uh, you know, I'd, I kind of like to have it go up and down a little bit like that. So again, this is a motion path, right? So what I need to do is if I hover over the motion path, it turns to the pen tool and I can just click on it and add a node and then drag up. And I don't even need to mess with the, uh, the Bezier curve handles at all. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And let's go ahead and press play. Oops, press play. There's our moon, moving along slowly. And I like it. That's all um, exactly what I want to happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and animate that bird next, shall we? So let's animate the bird. Okay, so I'm gonna click on my bird and select it. 
Okay, and we're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to select motion paths, location. Okay, and whoops, my playhead was in the wrong spot here. So um, this is a nice thing to show you. Um, wherever your playhead is, that's where the keyframe is going to end up. Okay, so all I have to do is take this keyframe and drag it to the very beginning. Okay, just like that. Now let's move over to the end of the timeline here at five seconds. And let's go ahead and just select the bird and drag it. Okay, and we'll let go. And we have a keyframe set up. Okay, let's press play and see what happens. Bird's kind of flying with the moon. Okay, it's flying a little faster than the moon now. Um, that's cool, except for I don't think I want the bird to fly quite as slow as the moon moves. So um, what I'm going to do is actually grab this bird and stretch it out a bit more, like so. All right, now let's press play. Now he moves faster than the moon, which is what I wanted, because he's closer than the moon. He's not going to move as slow. Um, okay, of course, we're completely outside of reality with this fast-moving moon anyway, but hey, it's an animation. Um, so next up is I don't like how that bird uh, flies in a straight line. Okay, so um, I want to go ahead and... Uh, change the keyframe a little bit, or change the motion pass a little bit by adding some nodes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select one node right here. We'll go ahead and pull down, and then we'll select the uh, handle and just kind of add a little bit of a curve to this. And maybe we'll go over here and add another node. Maybe we'll drag this one down a little bit, and then add another curve. Okay, like so. Okay, well, a bird can fly wherever it wants, right? All right, so let's go ahead and preview this in a browser. Okay, so our bird's flying along. Okay, so in the original demo, I had a few birds. So um, this is pretty cool, but you can actually just copy that bird again. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to just uh, select this bird, and then I'm going to hit Command-D for duplicate. I could also just do uh, duplicate right here, but I have my flying seagull selected, and I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, so now we have two birds. And if we press play, it looks like we have one bird, right? More or less. I can see that the uh, wings are kind of showing up on the other one like that. But more or less, they're actually in the same spot. So we, we, what we need to do is we need to move this bird a little bit. A real easy way to do it is just grab the bird, move it. Maybe we'll move it back a little bit so this one actually will move at a different rate. We'll move these nodes. We'll... Uh, kind of turn them to different spots. This bird's kind of doing its own thing. We'll go way up here. We'll move this way over here like that. And he'll just kind of fly up here and disappear. So let's go ahead and preview in a browser. Okay, we have a couple of birds. Okay, and our moon's going. So we have a basic little animation. And um, I really want to stress again that you're looking at this through a browser. Let's refresh this. So this is just an HTML-based animation, all right? This is not uh, a movie that's ha you need to play inside a video player like what you would render from After Effects, all right? So um, that in itself is pretty amazing. Um, so let's go ahead and create some links.